Hey, so this question comes from Karen in Texas, and she writes about an issue that she says she's had her entire life. She says, quote, I overthink what I'm going to say. It has a negative impact on my business because I overthink my words before approaching customers. Would you have any suggestions to help me fight past this fear? Uh, Karen, absolutely. And this is something that a lot of people do, so you're not alone. First things first, you ask for advice in overcoming this fear, and I want you to think about this a totally different way. It's not a fear. You have a habit of stopping to think before you actually speak. And once you start to think about this as a habit, you can change the behavior. If you think about things as fears, they become these big, scary things that are hard to fight. When you realize that patterns of behavior that you repeat that you can't stand are just habits, there's a whole science in how you break them. And so what you're going to have to do, and you're not going to like it, it's not going to feel comfortable. You're going to overthink the advice that I'm telling you because you have a habit of doing that. What you need to do is relatively simple. It's not going to feel easy. I want you to use the five second rule to push yourself through that habit that you have where you stop and you go upstairs. Here's how you're going to do it. The moment you're in a situation where you see somebody and you want to go talk to them, you're going to catch their, yourself starting to think. That's the trigger. That's the signal. That's when you need to do the new behavior, the five second rule. What you're going to do is you're going to go five, four, three, two, one. Sounds stupid, but the reason why you're going to count to yourself, don't do it out loud. You can do it to yourself in your head. That right there, counting backwards, it's going to awaken your prefrontal cortex because it takes focus. That's a really important thing to understand because one of the things about a habit is the behavior has been repeated so many times, it's automatic for you to overthink, Karen. That's why you do it so much, because you've done it so many times, it's so easy for your brain to go there. So the second that you catch yourself overthinking, that's a moment of awakening. That's a moment of power. I want you to grab that moment. I want you to assert control, five, four, three, two, one, and then give yourself a push. Start walking. Now what's going to happen as you start walking toward that person that you're going to speak to? Well, you're going to start freaking out. You're going to start overthinking again. Why are you going to do that? Because it's a habit. It's what you always do. And this is how you break behavior. You're going to go five, four, three, two, one, and you're going to keep walking until you get to the person. As you get to the person, you know what's going to happen, Karen? You're going to start overthinking. You're going to start worrying about what you should say. Why do you do that? Because it's a habit. Because you've taught yourself to do this. And now we're teaching yourself not to do it. The second you catch yourself overthinking again, you're going to go five, four, three, two, one. I know this sounds insane. I know it does. But you're actually retraining your brain. You're basically training yourself. Very similarly, if you're right-handed and I gave you a pencil and said you can only write with your left hand now, you could do it, but it's going to take work and your mind is really going to have to focus on making that left hand work and it's not going to like it. The same is true, Karen, with thinking patterns. Overthinking is a habit. It's a pattern. If you want to break it, you have to interrupt it and you have to insert something else. Now, are you going to say things that are really stupid? Maybe. Are you going to say things that you're going to regret? You might. Are you going to feel really freaked out as you're forcing yourself to talk instead of overthink? Definitely. And I would say that you're going to feel that way for probably, I don't know, 10, 15 times. And then after you do it 10 or 15 times, guess what? It's going to start to get a lot easier. If you're really committed to breaking any pattern behavior or any pattern of thinking, this is what it takes. You have to catch yourself in the pattern. You have to regain control by awakening the prefrontal cortex. That's why you go five, four, three, two, one. And then you need to assert control. You can do it, Karen. Overthinking is a habit many people have. And what's so cool about breaking it is that you're going to gain the real confidence, not fake confidence, real confidence. Real confidence is what happens when you actually start to believe in your instincts and you believe in the things that you're thinking and that you actually say them instead of what you're doing right now, which is doubting yourself and overthinking. Let me know how that goes. Five, four, three, two, one. You may use it 27 times in one hour, but this is what it takes to change behavior.